Hi beauty fam, welcome back to Mickey Car Beauty. And on my channel, I love to talk about luxury skincare and beauty and sometimes fashion. So if you're interested in that content, please consider subscribing. But today I will be trying on and reviewing and demoing the Suku Summer 2022 Summer Collection. And we'll get started. I actually have one of the quads on my face already and most of the products that I ended up purchasing. I'm loving this look so much that I thought I was going to do two looks for the eye quad and then wipe it off and then do the other quad. I think I'm going to actually dedicate a separate video for the other quad that I ended up getting. The Suku Summer Collection 2022. Actually, I'm a little behind. It actually dropped on Friday, May 13th. I'm filming at the end of May. And I have to be honest that I actually was on the fence about getting this collection. And I think what it is, and I should know this by now, that I wasn't too keen on the colors. I definitely buy the pre-summer collection every year just because I'm always so far enamored of those colors. And I saw these ones and it's hard after seeing the colors that you kind of favor, the sea glass turquoise and the purple, and then you kind of see this. So the color, and I'll put a picture up here, uh, the Suku Summer 2022 collection is very red and orange. So uh, I'll read from the website. Scorching heat becomes a luster and the light shimmers. The entrancing fascination of the heat haze. Suku's 2022 Summer Color Collection is a reflection of summer's transience. Classic orange hues infused with fine pearls and particles of light. The result is a collection of colors filled with the healthy sun-kissed look of euphoric expression. The glow of the heat, the shimmer of light on your skin, Suku will color you with a vivid illusion of summer. So for this collection, I ended up getting two of the signature color eyes, one of the melting powder blushes, the uh, melting powder highlight, and then one of the shimmer matte lipsticks and one of the moisture rich lipsticks and I don't believe I ended up getting these through Cult Beauty and Selfridges and as far as I could tell though the nail color it was not available and that might have to do with uh that is I'm purchasing it from the UK so it wasn't with shipping because it's considered probably a hazardous material um I was very interested in the nail polish but I don't think I can get them here stateside signature I color eyes and they're limited edition. So two limited edition quad eyeshadow palettes join our signature color eyes range featuring fiery shades and a variety of polarized pearls. Vivid shades of summer will accentuate your eyes with heat and blazing flames. So today on my eyes I have the quad Enka E-N-K and it's 115 Enka and I'll show it up here deep orange and shiny pink. So I think these are the deep oranges and that's the shiny pink. Scorching combination of brownish orange and the pearlescent gold to create a look oozing with passion. Okay, so that is what I have on my eyes today and I'll show you the look that I ended up doing. So I ended up doing two looks today and I actually started with my base and I actually have both of the Suku cream foundations in 35, 35 and 40. Uh, these are one of my favorite cream foundations in my collection and actually probably one of probably my top foundations in my collection. And I think this is going to be very particular. It's it's Japanese technology where I think there's some gel in there and so it's definitely in a pot, a jar. So some people don't like that because they feel it's messy. I think this is one of the most beautiful foundations I've actually tried in my collection. And it just looks beautiful throughout the day. So now I have aging skin, um, an oily T-zone and dry uh, cheek area here. And I have texture, but the Suku cream foundation just covers that. So, so I actually don't prime my face when I use the Suku cream foundation, just because I find that it's so emollient that I, it actually looks better without any additional product other than skincare down. So I like to put, you're seeing in the video, I like to put 35 at the center of my face and in the perimeter, I put 40. And as my skin deepens through the summer, I actually transition to 40 because the 35 ends up being too light. So 35 is more like my fall winter shade and then 40 is definitely my deepest summer shade. So I like to do a cocktail of those. And so I love this foundation enough that I bought two of these 
that's how it shows you how much I love this foundation. I ended up setting, um, doing my under eye with, with, uh, with the Pat McGrath concealer and I powdered down with the Pat McGrath under eye powder in shade yellow. I set my eyes and primed my eyes with Hourglass and then just set down my face with the Sisley Loose Powder Matte 2. And I do that because this foundation is very emollient and oily. So I would say if you're super, you have a super oily skin, you might wanna consider if you want this foundation or not because it is definitely very emollient. So when this my skin is drier, I like to use this foundation, but I use it all year long. I ended up putting this corner left, upper left corner, uh, yellow shimmer shade all over my lid. And I ended up doing a gradient event, a gradient kind of look. And it's something I've seen other content creators, at least in Asia do, where they put, uh, they tend to put like the lightest one down everywhere and then they layer, go lower, and then they layer the second one, which is the orangey pink shade, kind of put that all over the lid. And then they go to the deeper shade, which is the bottom left. And I actually put use that as close to the liner. Now, I think to the eye, it doesn't look very, it doesn't look very different, I would say. So I ended up just doing a gradient with this quad because I think it would look best in it. So I think what I heard and what I was initially deterred by with this quad is that the orangey shades look really, really similar. And when I was looking at swatches, I'm like, I don't want this quad because those three shades look the same. But as a gradient effect, it's beautiful. So this top right shade is definitely more pink, like a pinky, pinky shimmer. Yeah, there's more pink in it. And then there's the bottom left. It reminds me a lot of uh, a Pat McGrath color that was in one of those six pans, like the bronzy rust. And so I ended up putting that bottom left as a liner, a little bit on the bottom right, line, uh, bottom right uh, liner. And then using that matte color as to smoke up the outer corner. And I didn't use much of it because I don't want that smoky of a look, but I would you know, I could go back and use that as liner. And so that was my my right eye. I was going, and then so I went over to the other eye and I thought I was gonna do the same thing. But this is what I've been finding with Suku quads. I've been trying to challenge myself not to do the same look because what I find really beautiful about Suku quads is the color curation and the quality. Reaching for my Suku quads and just doing at most like maybe two colors in the quad and then that's it because on their own they can stand by themselves and beautifully so for the second look on my left eye which is this eye i ended up using this yellow all over and just really emphasizing the yellow shimmer and sometimes these shades are not uh, very pigmented or opaque they're more just a topper but i found with this quad the yellow actually shows up really beautifully and that's why I decided I'm like you know what I'm gonna go with it I'm just gonna put this all over my lid and so for both eyes I ended up using that yellow as an inner corner highlight and it could be as a brow bone but by itself it's beautiful so what I'm looking at it this the the sparkles there's actually some blue in there blue purp and blue and purple so when I turn my head it's just not straight glitter it's actually there's um, some kind of an almost like, like a duochrome and it's a light yellow gold with some like a, the cool tone contrast of blue whitish blue purple flecks and it's just so beautiful and and here's the thing about and I've said this before on my channel with Suku eye quads I should know this by now I should just buy all of them because they just looks so much more beautiful in real life than what you're seeing on a video on YouTube or Instagram. These, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's not like the quality of impact of Pat McGrath where it's gonna look editorial and, and social media friendly, but in real life, it just looks so beautiful and elegant. And that is this that is really the signature look of Suku that with these colors, uh, they have exciting color curations. The quality is just up there with um, the best in the business. And even that's for me, that's a marker of a good 
quad and color creation and quality is if you can just take one or two colors from a quad and then call it a day. So I ended up using that yellow all over my eyelid. And let me see if I can, yeah. And then I ended up co combining um, the bottom two right colors as a eyeliner. So I took one of my eyeliner pencils and sprayed it with some rose water. I usually have Studio Fix Plus here from MAC, but I can't find it. But just anything other than micellar water because that's a remover. And I just use that combination of the bottom two colors, the matte brown and that deep orangey rust as a liner. And it's beautiful. And so I end up putting a little bit of liner at the bottom. And then I took some of that pinky, uh, pink, the one on the top right, I took that pink color and I used that um, at, the, at the bottom as, a, as part of my liner at the bottom for some contra contrast. There we go. And then again, I use the yellow as an inner corner highlight and then just called it today because, you know, it's this is supposed to be for summer. And I think even during the day, like you could wear both of these, but the yellow on itself is just scream somewhere because it's like a bright, beautiful light color. And if I was going into evening, you could definitely, you know, vamp it up and I would probably smoke it out with that brown as well. So I ended up doing two looks, which I'm happy with. They are beautiful. There's something about Suku that I'm like, I should just know by now. Like I'm like always feeling like I'm underwhelmed and then I get it. And then I try it. I'm like, it's beautiful. Okay. So moving on to the blush, the blush, gorgeous. I haven't been excited about blush. Um, the last time actually was probably trying, uh, the actual, uh, Mo the other Suku, the Su other Suku melting powder blushes. And I have uh, two of the new formulas, but this is limited edition. So I, when I saw this, that this was like an orangey color, it goes on almost like it has a little bit of oil, but it doesn't show texture. So on its own, it could be used. It's beautiful. It has definitely some sort of shimmer. I used my favorite blush brush, which is the Sonia G Soft Cheek. And I could use this by itself. It almost doesn't even need, there's some reflector pop properties. It doesn't, almost doesn't need a highlighter. So if you were thinking about getting this and think something in this collection and you were really looking at this highlighter, don't worry and you didn't want to get too, and it was like too spendy, you could probably just get away with this because there's some highlighting qualities in there. But of course I ended up getting the highlighter. So the highlighter is also limited edition. It's Suku 101. And it reminds me a little, it's got that marbleized uh, texture and a little goes a long way. So I ended up using in the video, my Surratt Jumbo Blender Brush. I think it's squirrel hair. And so it goes on really light, it goes on lightly and it just has like the perfect placement. I don't, I'm not one who likes a lot of highlight that's super blingy. It's beautiful. So it's like that perfect champagne color. It's got a little bit of gold, some orange flecks in there. It does not emphasize texture. There's no glitter. So it's just like a sophisticated highlighter is the best I can describe. It looks definitely lit with it from within. I, if you are my skin tone or tan or tan deep, maybe a uh, caramel, to a deeper complexion, this is gonna look beautiful for you, uh, as well as this blush. I think this blush can be for anyone. I think if you're lighter than me and fair, you would definitely want to go with a brush for the for the blush that doesn't pack down a lot because it's gonna be very very like you might want to use a squirrel hair brush for that if you're a fair complexion. But I'm um, medium tan tan, and I definitely am so far I can just say it already that at least the colors on my face tan person friendly. This is a beautiful collection if you have tan skin tone to deeper and it's I think it's going to work for you. So, so I put too much on purpose for the video so you can see how much it builds up. So that was probably a couple like taps. So if you're deeper than me, it's just going to look gorgeous on you. Uh, same with the highlighter. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. The marbles, the marbled highlighter reminds me of a lot of hourglass. I am excited about this highlighter. It reminds me a lot of a sophisticated hourglass, which I was, you know, always wanting to replace, but I'm not gonna 
you know, get acne again. So it reminds me of that. Uh, so I would say if you're um, not into this color story for the eye makeup, but you're wanting a summer orange and a highlighter and your my skin tone are deeper, definitely I would say pick those up for sure because any of these products are limited edition and I once they're gone, they're gone. So I will check if they are available still. I put the link below um, that I, if I, I got these at Selfridges and Cult Beauty. So I usually pre-order these collections, but this time I didn't. So I was behind the curb and getting those. So the melting powder blush, there were two. Uh, I ended up getting 101 Hotel Riro. Burnt orange, an orange with a hint of red brings luminosity. It gives your cheeks a healthy glow in the heat of summer. It definitely has more luminosity than the other melting powder blushes that I have. I have uh, the mauve pink and coral pink. And the coral pink definitely has more luminosity than the mauve. But this is how, has the most luminosity out of all three that I have. So I think it's perfectly in line with the collection they want you to look have this glowy luminescence uh with the heats in the orange so i definitely definitely is, i'm glowy now for me to make sense to get that um and then the highlight again it's melting powder highlight it's the same formula apparently as the melting powder blushes so there's like a more of emolliency in it limited edition highlighter composed of two incandescent shades blended into a haze delivers sunlight radiance okay 101 kageru an exquisite combination of bright peach gold and natural bronze. Huh. So yeah, so it's two colors rolled together. I would not have guessed peach gold. So I ended up getting two, two lipsticks, but only one of the releases for each category. The Shimmer Matte Lipstick. Again, they had two limited edition shades. Uh, I... The Shimmer Matte Lipstick, limited edition shade duo, joins a popular semi-matte lipstick range. I think this is the first time I'm trying the semi-matte formula. I ended up getting 109 Psyche Antique Brown for an exotic summer adventure. Try this crisp, rich brown. So it is matte, but it doesn't feel matte. It's not drying, which is nice. And this is something I definitely don't have in my collection. It almost runs a little bit, I must say, like a little bit mustardy brown on, on me with my uh, complexion and undertone. I think the heat, the other one was too orange for me. I I don't know what I was expecting for this. I have maybe a little bit more brown on my complexion. It just, it, there's almost like a mustard underlay. So uh, what I think is a challenge for me with this formula is that it's a translucent matte, which means it's not as pigmented. So my under pigment comes through. So I actually had to layer it more in order to get coverage so you didn't see the pigment underneath. Then I tried, you can see here, the Moisture Rich Lipstick. So there was two limited edition shades, Summer Heat and Adventure, two limited edition additions to our classic lipstick series. I got the color 123, the poppy red. Do the juicy color with hydrating sensation blends well for a bright, fresh finish. So I really wanted 122. I missed the boat on that. The sold out everywhere. 122 is the shimmering orange. Gold and blue pearls sway freshly behind the light, slightly brownish orange. If that pops up again, I'm definitely going to grab it after trying this. So you can see here I'm trying 123 Shakuka Poppy Red. The juicy color with hydrating sensation blends well for a bright, fresh finish. My final thoughts and review of this collection. I think first impressions... And I love it. I love the pieces I've tried on so far. I can I can definitely see myself uh, gravitating for this in the summer. As I get more tan, I think it's going to just like even pop even more, this color, the oranges and the corals. And you can just see how glowy I look. I mean, that is the highlighter and the blush. That <laughs> That is for real the product. So my skin looks glowy 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 beautiful i'm feeling like a bronze summer goddess i'm loving this i of course i think what helps too is the foundation i'm wearing and i highly recommend the suku foundation the cream foundation if you haven't tried it i would highly recommend it I've been wanting to try the new suku foundation the one that's in a bottle but i promised myself that i would finish these first because i'm trying to use up all my products before i buy new things again just being mindful of what i'm purchasing if you're interested at all in this kind of peachy, coral, orangey 
color story with this yellow, I would say don't hesitate on it. What was surprising to me was like, I hesitated again, it's the, I think these look very similar, but I made it work. The gradation was really pretty. So I use the gradation effect here, like a Rothko painting. And then on this eye, I just used this yellow all over. Um, it's pigmented up and it's got some cool tones of flecks in there, purple and white and blue glitter flecks. I don't want to say it's glitter because I, I don't think they use glitter. It's just like the, um, there's like definitely a shininess to it. And then I use these two combined with a eyeliner brush that I spritzed and then made that into eyeliners. If you're interested in this, I would say do not hesitate. You can see like this is one of my go-to colors in the summer curls and I knew I was like, I don't know why I hesitated. So love this. Again, I think I gushed enough about the highlighters and the blush. Again, it's such a unique color. I have not seen, maybe the closest one I've seen maybe would be Melt Cosmetics. I think they might have one like this. Mented Cosmetics might have one like this. And then I think of NARS Taj Mahal. Look how beautiful that is. And it's iridescent. And when I was even swatching it, I was like, wow, that would be even beautiful as a one and done eyeshadow shade. And I actually might use that on my lid one day just to see what that looks like. I mean, wouldn't that be beautiful? So, and I put that on, you can see already there was like a luminosity to that. Highly recommend this beautiful highlighter. I haven't seen anything like it. I mean, it's gonna again, what it reminds me of is Hourglass. So, you know, it's hard to get these products. You have to pay uh, the conversion fee for pounds in Great Britain. And then you have to pay the shipping fee. So, but if you're not, you know, deterred by that, I would say this is definitely worth getting. The sheer matte lipstick, I am still on the fence about it. This is probably my least favorite product that I picked up. See, and it swatches really beautifully. I mean, look at that. That's just a beautiful color. I think if you're a deeper complected person than me, that's going to be really beautiful. I would love to see this on someone with a deeper skin tone than me. Uh, this is a new formula that I've uh, for me that I didn't it didn't cover up my pigmentation so I'm still on the fence about it I'm not mad about it because I'm also looking at this like what could I also use this as I mean this would be also be beautiful as a blush I mean look at that I could probably just take that I mean that's beautiful in and of itself and this lipstick bar none I love it it's the this moisture lipstick I probably need to look up what else they have and <laughs> So in reality, I'm going to be honest, if I saw this on the website, there was no way I would ever buy this because I'd be like, well, I'm not going to wear that. That's just too bright. But the way it translates on my lips is a completely different story. So this is a couple passes, like five or six. And let me show you. Um, so that's probably as pigmented and coral it's going to get. But if I just wanted to tone it down a bit, just go in, smudge it a bit. There. It looks a little bit more pink. So I am, am so impressed with this collection. I don't know what else to say other than if you're on the fence about it, definitely pick up something from this collection because it's gonna, once it sells out, it sells out. I was actually surprised there were items still available. So I will list all those things below. If you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to my channel. Please comment and like below. It really helps out my channel. And if you are interested in this content, let me know what kind of things that you would like to see more of. I actually have an, an unboxing video coming up of it's my, Gem we're in Gemini season. Hey, Geminis. Really excited because it's my birthday coming up soon. So I have an unboxing, which of a gift that I've been waiting to unbox for my birthday. So it was like an early, I bought this gift early for myself, but it did not, I've been waiting to open it for close to two months now. So that's coming up. So if you're interested in that content, let me know things that you'd like to see. Um, and then I will create the second part two of the video with the other iQuad. Um, so thanks for joining me today, beauty fam, really appreciate it. And I hope, I guess, well, as always, that you are being very kind to yourself and others and just being you, who you are. And until the next video, please take good care of yourself. Bye for now.